Samus Aran. To some, a terrifying adversary. For others, a protective savior. And for one, in particular, a caring mother. Regardless of perspective, she stands as the most renowned bounty hunter in the galaxy. From her advanced Chozo technology, a vast amount of experience, and the ability to always come out on top. Her next adventure within Metroid Dread seems to be one of her toughest yet, being endlessly hunted by a new kind of foe. But what happened before the events of Dread? What was Samus' origin? And how did she acquire such a profound reputation? Let's go back to the beginning. Samus was born on a mining colony called K2L. At the age of three years old, the planet was visited by a race called the Chozo, a highly advanced species that resembles humanoid birds. Samus befriends one of the species' leaders, Old Bird, who taught her the importance of befriending and understanding others. Shortly after the Chozo depart the planet, K2L is met by some new visitors, ones who were following the Chozo, the Space Pirates who raided the planet for its supplies and slaughtered billions of innocent people. Both of Samus's parents tragically perish in this attack, her mother Virginia dying to protect Samus from the space pirate Ridley, and her father, Rodney, sacrificing his life to destroy the space pirate's ship, along with all the space pirates aboard, all but one, Ridley. The only survivor of the bloodshed was Samus. Detecting the distress signal, the Chozo promptly returned to K2L to find Samus as the only survivor. Samus was adopted by the Chozo and brought back to their home planet, Zebus. Though things are not so simple. The organic supercomputer of the Chozo, Mother Brain, predicted that Samus would not survive on the planet due to the harsh conditions and the stronger gravity. So the Chozo made the decision to infuse Samus with Chozo DNA. Samus also receives a biomechanic piece of technology called the Power Suit. In her late teens, after much training with the Chozo, Samus joins the Federation, using her superhuman abilities and the technology she was given to protect the innocent and battle the space pirates. Though, a while later, on Zebus, the organic supercomputer Mother Brain betrayed the Chozo and became the lead authority over the space pirates, which established a base on the planet and began to breed one of the most dangerous species in the galaxy, Metroids. The Galactic Federation ordered Samus to return to her home with the task of destroying the Metroids and eliminating Mother Brain. And so began her first real mission, Zero Mission. Samus traversed the caverns of her old home, now a twisted evil place, tracking a path to her target. Samus continued to overcome a mass sum of enemies and gathering remaining Chozo technology, gradually becoming stronger and a bigger threat to Mother Brain. Some technology was familiar to her and other bits strange and incompatible with her current equipment. As she delved deeper and deeper into the caverns, she faced two high-ranking space pirates, Kraid, the gargantuan green abomination, and her old enemy, Ridley. After overcoming her enemies and growing in power, she finally unlocked the pathway to her destination, Torian, a metallic, eerie series of tunnels populated only by the corpses of space pirates and Metroids. After battling her way through a swarm of nightmarish creatures, she finally reaches her enemy, Mother Brain. After Samus defeats the organic supercomputer and her old ally, Mother Brain activates a self-destruct sequence before perishing, forcing Samus to flee back to her ship and escape the gigantic explosion. With that, her mission was concluded, but she wasn't safe just yet. Some nearby space pirate ships chase down Samus, immobilizing her gunship and forcing her to fend for herself on the planet, only using her weak emergency pistol. After sneaking aboard the pirate mothership and avoiding capture, Samus finds the pirates excavating ancient Chozo ruins, called Chozodia, and finds a familiar location and an ancient Chozo test. After successfully overcoming the trial, Samus is rewarded with an even stronger suit, which recognizes and activates the unknown items she had collected, which are the plasma beam, the space jump, and the gravity suit. After blasting her way through the mothership, acquiring the power bomb, and defeating a mechanical version of Ridley, Samus manages to steal a space pirate ship and escape. Finally, her first mission on Zebus is over, but it won't be her last. Sometime after the incident on Zebus, and after a series of different adventures, Samus heads to the planet SR388, the home planet of the terrifying species of Metroids, with the order of exterminating all of them. Samus arrives and begins to explore, finding ruins of old Chozo artifacts and many Metroids at different stages in their life cycle beginning as floating jelly-like organisms to gigantic monsters resembling reptiles, 
Samus travels deeper and deeper into the planet before finding the Queen. After battling and finally exterminating the hideous monster, Samus begins to head back to her gunship. But along the way, she discovers a Metroid hatchling, specifically the last Metroid in existence. Instead of attacking her, the creature believes Samus to be its mother and begins to follow her. Samus, unable to bring herself to destroy it, decides to let it follow her. After arriving on the surface, but before reaching her gunship, Samus and the baby Metroid are attacked by the newly created Ridley, created through a blend of organic material and cybernetic enhancements. After defeating the space pirate incarnation with the help of the Metroid, the two depart the planet and Samus hands over the infant creature to the Federation research station for further study. With that, Samus had successfully achieved her mission, but she nor the Federation were yet aware of the consequences, as another creature on the planet began to grow, previously kept at bay by the predators she had now destroyed. Her next adventure begins only moments after the last concluded. With the last Metroid in captivity, Samus departs the Federation research station, but only moments later receives a distress beacon that the facility is under attack from the space pirates. Samus rushes back to the station to only find dead bodies and the baby Metroid missing. After finding it, Samus is met by her nemesis Ridley, biologically reborn thanks to space pirate technology. Ridley escapes with the last Metroid, and Samus gives chase back to the place of her first mission, Zebus. A large amount of time has passed since her last deployment on the planet, and the surface is barren and empty. After the events of Zero Mission, or so Samus thinks, before long, she's discovered by space pirates and uncovers a large amount of space pirate facilities that have been reinstated, including her previous adversary, Mother Brain. Samus once again must conquer the depths of Zebus and overcome some old foes, Ridley and Kraid, along with some new space pirate monstrosities, but also retrieve the Metroid that was stolen from the station. As Samus claims more ground back from the space pirates, she finally enters a rebuilt Torian and begins the final stage of her mission. But before encountering Mother Brain, she finds a horde of newly bred Metroids. And finally, the Metroid Hatchling, fully grown and completely hostile towards Samus. She battles with the creature before it finally recognizes who she is and spares her with only an inch of her life remaining. After recovering, Samus descends deeper and finally confronts Mother Brain, the mastermind behind this entire operation. After defeating her in the same way as the first mission, Mother Brain suddenly rises from the ground with a new body and newfound firepower, quickly overpowering Samus and leaving her helpless. But at the last moment, the Metroid Hatchling rushes to Samus' defense, absorbing Mother Brain's energy and leaving her temporarily petrified. The creature passes energy back to Samus, enduring oncoming fire from Mother Brain, shielding Samus from the damage, and in the Metroid's last moments, passes on the Hyper Beam to Samus. With a new weapon, Samus quickly annihilates Mother Brain, overpowering her in mere seconds and avenging her deceased child. And once again, Samus escapes the self-destructive facility, which this time destroys the entire planet. Safe and sound out in deep space, Samus carries on to her next mission. Sometime later, Samus is hired by the Federation to escort scientists from the Biologic Space Labs research station onto the surface of SR388, the same planet from her adventures in Metroid 2 where she wiped out the entire species of Metroids. However, while on her mission, she's infected by an unknown amphimorphous organism. After the escort's completion, while returning to the station, Samus suddenly loses consciousness, causing her ship to veer off course and crash into an asteroid field. Luckily, before its destruction, it ejects Samus into an escape pod, allowing the Federation to collect her in deep space. However, they find her in a critical state as the organism that infected her has now spread and multiplied throughout her body. This organism the Federation discovers is known as the X-Parasite, a species first discovered by the Chozo many years ago, who deemed it a high level threat to the galaxy. In response, the Chozo created the Metroids to stand as an apex predator on the planet and keep them at bay. However, since Samus wiped out the Metroids on SR388, the Parasite had no predator, causing it to grow and multiply dramatically. With the use of a vaccine infused with Metroid DNA, the Federation can save Samus's life, surgically removing her suit and killing the parasites inside her body. Though this dramatically changes Samus's appearance and also gives her the vulnerability to cold, much like a Metroid. However, Samus now has a newfound ability to absorb the X parasites. After recovering, Samus is ordered to head to the BSL station to investigate a large explosion. She soon finds the facility is full of X parasites 
which have spread and multiplied. Samus uplinks with the Federation AI aboard the station to begin the gradual process of exterminating the parasite and prevent it from entering the six stimulated breeding zones. As Samus continues to explore the station, she discovers the parasite has gained control of her old suit, which patrols the facility looking for her. This enemy the AI dubs the SAX. With little firepower of her own, Samus must flee and hide from this new enemy as she completes her mission. However, over time, the X continues to breed, and before long, there are no less than 10 SAXs aboard the ship, and Samus's objective shifts to escaping with her life. As she continues, she encounters a frozen clone of her nemesis, Ridley, which becomes controlled by the X parasite forcing Samus to battle her old enemy yet again. Not long after, Samus learns from the ship's computer that the Federation is heading towards the BSL station, with a great interest in using the X for their own means, and have also been withholding upgrades from Samus, which would have allowed her to take on the SAX. With this new information, Samus decides the best course of action is to destroy the station, along with all the X parasites aboard. But the AI protests, though before long concedes to the idea, and it's revealed that the AI is actually a former commanding officer of Samus, Adam Malkovich. Adam informs Samus that a means of destroying the ship would be to alter its course towards SR388, which would destroy both in the explosion. After defeating the SAX, redirecting the ship's course, and fleeing to her gunship, Samus is met by an artificially bred Queen Metroid, which quickly overpowers Samus. But before the creature can finish her off, it's intercepted by the SAX which attacks it with the Ice Beam. The Metroid fights back and reduces the SAX to its base form, allowing Samus to absorb it, along with her old weapons, including the Ice Beam. With this new firepower, Samus quickly and efficiently destroys the Queen Metroid, allowing her ship to enter the docking bay. With the BSL station approaching SR388 at an accelerating pace, Samus flees with her gunship, escaping the collision, which destroys the station and the planet. With that, Samus is free and departs into deep space. But what her next adventure holds, in the contents of Dread, is yet to be seen. With a new modification to a fusion suit, on a strange, alien, and mysterious planet, she may face one of her greatest challenges yet. Will she escape the relentless Emmys? Are the X parasites really gone? Who is the mysterious Chozo we saw? And have we really seen the last of the Metroids? Only time will tell. Thanks so much for watching. This video took quite a bit of effort, so if you did enjoy it, Make sure to subscribe because it does make a big difference. I'm a diehard fan of Metroid and on my own channel, I dive deep into various different games and figure out how they work. So maybe check it out if you're interested.